Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how much to feed your little baby turtles from hatchlings to adults. So first we're gonna be talking about how much to feed baby aquatic turtles less than two and a half or three inches. So straight up, as far as amounts go for hatchling turtles that are under two and a half or three inches, I'm feeding them as much as they can eat daily. I'm feeding them these Zoomed hatchling formula pellets. They're super tiny, so they fit in baby turtles' mouths and they're filled with calories to get your little baby turtles growing quickly. It helps Helps them grow and get out of that tiny fragile hatchling stage relatively quickly but not so fast that it's going to cause issues and again the pellets are nice and tiny so they fit in baby turtle mouths in order to feed them as much as they can possibly eat what i'll often do is take a separate feeding enclosure and i'll put all the baby turtles in it with as much food as they can possibly eat i'll leave them in this enclosure for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes or as long as they're possibly eating once they're done eating they start swimming at the size of the enclosure and i let them out in order to make a little Pip squeak more comfortable, I feed her in her enclosure and I feed her as much as she'll possibly eat at the cost of having to clean the water more often, but it's worth it for her to eat more. Next, let's talk about baby turtles over three inches. These guys are probably still going to be under a year old, but now they're too big to eat these teeny tiny pellets. They're kind of like little scraps to them. It's like us eating tiny grains of rice. So yes, you can still feed those tiny pellets or you can upgrade to this stuff, which is the Missouri Aquatic Turtle Diet. This is actually a mix of all different kinds of pellets that I do in order to get a nice different variety. My staple is Missouri Aquatic Turtle Diet and also of course I have dried shrimp in there, dried mealworms, all different kinds of stuff. But primarily those larger pellets are going to be what get them growing all nice and beautifully. Now because they're under a year old until they reach adult size I'm still pretty much going to feed them daily or maybe at this point every other day or so as much as they can possibly eat. This is pretty much where you can start to vary how much you feed. It's why the feeding is a little bit nuanced and not an exact size. A pretty good rule of thumb is like 75% as much as they can possibly eat, all the way up to as much as they can possibly eat daily or even every other day. You can go two days between feeding without issue, but it increases the risk of aggression. For vacations, even for tiny hatchlings, you're okay leaving them for upwards of three days or so without issue. The reason I'm not giving a super solid, distinct cup size tablespoon amount is because it really does vary. I just let these guys eat, you know, maybe heavily one one day, maybe a little bit less another day, I vary it because that's how it would be in the wild. They're already eating more in captivity than they would in the wild and growing quicker. And they're reptiles. They can go a day without eating. Now, these fellas are kind of a subsidiary of those three inch terrapins, but these guys are over three inches, but still only around a year old. This is where they're approaching their adult sizes. I would call these two sub adults because I can tell that they're males. Their tails are at that size where I can definitely tell their sex. And this is where I'm going to begin to slow things down. After that year mark, they can start to get overweight fairly quickly. I've seen some very overweight two-year-old females that were fed as much as they can eat every day, but it's important to start slowing things down once they're approaching one year old if they're at this size. If they're under this size, you can continue feeding until they get to that four-inch mark, maybe even that five-inch mark, but once they hit that, I definitely start to slow things down. So now I'm only going to be feeding them maybe every other day, maybe only 70% as much as they can possibly eat. This is basically the point where you're gonna wanna slow things down a little. Do you like turtles? Do you not want these turtles to starve? Then become a member on my Patreon today. Patrons get access to all kinds of exclusive content, including behind the scenes photos, bonus videos, turtles when I have them available, and so much more. Direct message me with all of your turtle related questions and I'll walk you through how best to care for your turtle or just come say hi. Join my Patreon today and get access to over 300 bonus content posts. I'm using this same general rule of thumb even for some terrestrial animals. I use this rule of thumb for my tortoises. I used it for this Chinese box turtle that I've been raising, little Miss Otis. I only feed her maybe every two to three days because she's about two or three years old. And even though she acts like she's super duper hungry, she really does not need to be eating every single day. Erring on the side of caution with an animal that's over a year or two old would be feeding a little bit less than as much as they can possibly eat every day or two rather than overfeeding and potentially risking obesity, which I've certainly seen in plenty of species. To keep your water quality high, make sure that you scoop out any uneaten food at the end of a feeding and make sure that you do your water changes in order to keep that water quality nice and high and avoid any issues or skin problems in your turtles. Especially if you're an absolute silly goose like I am and you decide to feed your turtles in their enclosures. Now, for feeding your adult turtles, these guys are going to be three to five years old. They're going to be at their 
adult sizes, they're still growing, but a lot less slower than their younger counterparts. And just like people, because their metabolisms start to slow down as they get older, they're not going to be needing to eat as much. I'm going to generally be giving them, if I'm feeding every day, maybe about 50% as much as they can eat. If I'm feeding every other day, maybe 70% as they can possibly eat. And if I'm feeding every three days, maybe 80 to 85% as much as they can possibly eat or so. The problem is that adults will just keep on eating and eating like Miss Flipper's coming over here. And they're pretty much always hungry. The problem is that that fat gets stored. And these adults can very quickly become overweight if you're feeding too often and too heavily. You see, these white lines are growth lines in a terrapin that's not quite an adult, kind of like a sub-adult, and I'm feeding these two as much as I would feed the adults. Therefore, these girls are growing a lot more naturally. They're growing at a slower but more natural rate, which is leading to these beautiful paper-thin scoots. This is way more natural, and this is really what you want to see. This is perfect growth. You can actually see where Miss Blondie has, even though she's only two years old, has one little spot left where she needs to shed her scoot. So this is a normal, healthy terrapin at two years old. And this is an animal that's two years old, approaching three, and she's just... She's large, but she's having some issues with her shell. Her plastron's a little funky looking, and on her carapace, she's got a lot of stuck shed. Basically, these layers of scoots will build up before the previous layer is able to shed off, and it causes this buildup. Thankfully, now that she's growing and eating at a normal rate, they will come off eventually, and all of those layers will pop off, and she'll be just fine, but this is what can happen if you feed your animal too much. So that's what happens when you feed a sub-adult too much, but Miss Flipper here is a full-on adult and when she eats a little bit too much it goes right to her thighs not really a huge deal a little bit of extra weight is no big deal i'll just cut back feeding a little bit but when they look like they're bursting out of their shells that's when you've got a problem thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something subscribe to learn more about these little critters and i'll see y'all in the next one